a little out of breath, ain't you? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Catching you fresh after a workout? Yeah, I'm tired of shit. What's good with you, Rob? I'm chilling. Same shit, different day. Okay. Um, news broke yesterday. Uh, Brian McIntyre pled guilty yeah, to firearm shit. possession. Are you home, though? Yeah, and uh, got a 20-month suspended sentence. Yeah. And we'll, allow, we'll be allowed to come back to the United States. What's your thoughts on that? Um... I hope he learned his lesson, taking a motherfucking gun up there. Um, now, just because you plead guilty, does that mean you are guilty, or does it mean you I just mean, don't want to fight the case? Then, if you're gonna, if you're not going, if you think you're innocent, then fight the shit. You know what I'm saying? But I think maybe the evidence was just too strong. Maybe they did test, uh, they ran prints on his gun. Maybe it did come back to him. Mm. Maybe the gun is registered to him. Maybe he didn't think that he was going to fly back commercial. Mm. You know what I mean? Good it point. Could, it could be a lot of things. Um, I'm just glad he's home. Um, that way he goes right back into the motions. So that's cool. But um, the 20-month 20, the 20, uh, suspended sentence, he just can't do nothing stupid. What do, uh, you were a police officer. What does that mean to, for the people that don't well, know? Well, it's, it's it's, it's it applies in UK. Um, so it basically means like, 20 month suspended sentence means if you were to get convicted of any crime in the UK, then you have to serve the term. Mm. So normally there's discrepancies and there's limitations to those type of uh, sentences. So it would be like he's not allowed to step uh, in certain places. He has to avoid certain places, those places being the whole UK. So I don't think he got a ban, like a permanent ban, because then they would have said a permanent ban mm -hmm. um, because of his occupation and the fact that he does work with Eubank. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to allow him to come back. The only thing is, if he get caught anything that's violating a crime in UK, he has to serve the sentence. So he basically got to walk on eggshells or know his laws when he go over there. Is this a teachable moment for everybody, fighter included? Uh, that travels abroad? Yeah, for sure. I mean, listen, bro. Um, you coming in from here, making millions of dollars, and it's recorded that you are making a lot of money, and then you going into a country, you want to feel protected. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a double-edged sword, for real, for real. Because I don't know if they have that, um, like, Bless we you. have the Second Amendment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't know if they have stuff like that. Either. But I know that their gun laws are pretty, you know, strict. But if it's a life lesson for anybody else, absolutely, man. Just don't go into another place with a different, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to carry a gun over there. Like, now, what if, let's just say you do that. And there's a robbery. God tries to take your chain. But you happen to be a good shot. You shoot him. You kill him. What are, the, what are the laws from there? It's, mm. it's a double-edged sword because at the end of the day, you should have never brought your gun there. Mm. Now, I don't know what the self-defense laws are, so you gotta know a lot of that shit before you go over there. You know what I mean? Look what happened to the girl that went, uh, had weed up in Russia. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, over weed, bro. Like, that's fucked up in many ways. You know what I'm saying? And then they basically negotiated some shit so that way they can bring one person over there and let her come home. But if it wasn't because of that... Wasn't it like an arms deal or something? Yeah, but mm -hmm. if it wasn't because of that, she would have still been sitting. That's fucked up. You know what I mean? So I hope Bo Mac learned his lesson from this. Um, my, my question is, though, if he made a lot of money off the uh, Spence and Crawford fight and he knew he wasn't going to fly private back, why didn't he? Like, I'm pretty sure Crawford takes care of him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm. they, they, they like them, they're brothers. You know what I'm saying? So, just fly that shit back. You know what I mean? Or just don't take a fucking gun up there. I don't know, man. Like, go up there and then... I, I don't know. I just, I'm just glad he holds.